Uh, now, 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 Steve, don't come near this bush. Pal, that burrito did a number on my alien stomach. Let's just go home. Uh, too bad. I guess I'll never find my special power. I'll check the transformer, Mikey. You're buying the beers after this, right? Can't do it, pal. I gotta work on my toast for your wedding. Jim, look! Behind this bush, there's a turd made of solid gold. And it's studded with diamonds and gems. We're rich, Jim. Rich! All of our dreams are gonna come true! <laughs> Hey, Harlan. Jeez, we got a mess here today, huh, Jim? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. I think it's the Transformer. Hey, where's Mike? Oh, he didn't show up for work today. Well, that ain't like him. Yeah, well, you know Mike. Look, Harlan, I gotta get going. Yeah, okay. Say hey to Abby. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Hey, hey, hold on a second. I is there a problem? I'll say there's a problem. You forgot your wrench. <laughs> Monday's right. Thanks. Hey, Jim and Abby can't answer the phone right now. Please leave a message. Abby, pick up. Something incredible's happened. It'll change our lives. We can find... Hello? Who... Who is this? Where's Abby? You idiot. I told you not to answer. Sorry, I forgot. What? Who is this? friend and for what a turd made of solid gold <laughs> what have i done what have i done this is all your fault Why do you think he did it, sir? Who knows? Probably running from something. Himself, most likely. What the hell? Gold. Find something, Lieutenant? <laughs> Just an old nickel, Chris. Just an old nickel. It's beautiful. What do you think it is? It's a mistake, is what it is. One week to retirement, I risked my pension by stealing evidence? What the hell was I thinking? You were thinking about us. Oh, Eddie, don't you see? The best your pension will buy us is some crappy little cracker box on the eastern shore. But now, now we can go to Boca. This changes everything. This changes nothing. I've always been a good cop. And I'm going out a good cop. Yeah, going out on nothing. An honest nothing. Yeah, well, I'm sick of your honesty. What about me? Huh? What about all those late nights? I lied awake wondering if you were in some gutter, plugged in the groceries by some hopped-up dope fiend. Don't I get something for that? 
Listen to yourself, Marilyn. This isn't you. This isn't us. It's this thing. It's, it's putting bad thoughts in our heads. No. Tomorrow, I'm just going to turn it in and face the music. Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry, Eddie. I'll get us some tea. It'll calm us down. The sooner it's out of our lives, the better. Besides, that cracker box won't seem so bad when our grandkids come to visit. Yeah, I hear bulk is really humid anyways. Besides, Eddie, you're all I need. Ow! Lovers quarrel? Well, well. I always knew you'd breeze back through my door. Roger, meet Jesus. Oh, an alien. One of my father's side projects. You better watch your mouth! Uh, uh. Whoa, whoa. We need to book passage on your ship to the far outlands. Good luck. The ship's subfusion engines run on precious metals and crystalline minerals. So unless you can poop out gem-encrusted gold, you're out of luck. When my army laid siege at the Battle of Boca Raton, they found this. I don't understand. I thought you guys were good. What is it, Charles? Sir, I'm sorry for calling. It's fine. What is it? The council meeting has been pushed to Thursday, and the governor called to send his condolences and to say how happy he was with how you handled the Marietta case. Charles, why are you calling? Um, well, Wyatt Borden called. What? You know I want nothing to do with that scumbag. Sir! The election is in two months, and your campaign needs some big money. I don't care. Wyatt Borden's company is the worst chemical dumper in the state. I'm not going to protect him after I become attorney general. I'd rather lose the election than get in bed with that devil. Johnny! Help! Oh, God. Johnny, help! I'll be right down. This is Vincent Edmonds. Mmm. What a pleasant surprise. We see big things for you, young Vincent. Is that right? Indeed. In fact, someday I'd rather not call you Vincent at all, but rather Mr. President. It is my privilege to welcome our nominee for President of the United States, Senator Vincent Thacker! Thank you. And with the help of my running mate, Senator Bill Sturgis, we can get this country back on track! Just got off the phone with the Post. Tomorrow they're running an expose. Some back alley deal you cut with Tetraduel? Are you hearing me? 
It's over! What? What is that? My! <laughs> Now it's mine! What is it, my child? It has returned. To destroy it, we must return it to its source. You guys don't want me to leave, right? Fine. I'll go. Francine, let's go, baby. No! <laughs> we found him, the creator of the evil artifact. According to the prophecy, the artifact can only be destroyed by sending it back into the portal through which it appeared on Earth. What portal? Chalupa's for secret meeting. The artifact corrupts and twists the human mind. Once it is destroyed, the world will finally be at peace. I shall take it to America at once. Perhaps I should take it. Hmm? No, he wants it for himself. I'll take it. No, me! Friends! <sighs> Beyonce speaks. Don't you see? Its power is corrupting even us. Don't touch it. <laughs> 